a reactor's wall 320 mm thick is made up of an inner layer of fire brick K is equals to 0.84 watts per meter degree Celsius covered with a layer of insulation K is equals to 0.16 watts per meter degree Celsius. The reactor operates at a temperature of 1325 degree Celsius and the ambient temperature is 25 degree Celsius. First off, what you need to find out is determine the thickness of the fire brick and the insulation which gives minimum heat loss and calculate the heat loss presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of 1200 degree Celsius. Okay. So there, uh, there uh, you can see are the two are the two layers of the composite wall. Okay, one is the fire brick, one is the insulation. This is the temperature here. This is the temperature here. Okay, this is the intermediate temperature here. Okay, and the thickness here. So what do you need to find out? You need to find out determine the thickness of the fire brick. So determine the thickness of the fire brick. You need to find out this and calculate the heat loss, presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of. 1200 degrees Celsius. So, this is 1200 degrees Celsius. So, this is all given. So, what you need to do is you need to just go with like this. And I have already told you that the heat is steady. So, basically, heat that is entering from this wall, sorry, from, from this phase will actually exit with the same magnitude. So, what you do is Q is equal to T1 minus T3 LA by KA plus LB by KB and this will be same like T1 minus T2 by LA by KA and T2 minus T3 because it is steady. Okay. So, considering first two quantities, okay, so you can actually calculate LA throughout. So, just by little bit of mathematics, just by little bit of mathematics, you can actually go for because here the LA is unknown. Okay. Here the LA is unknown. So, when the LA is unknown, so, you can and, and everything is known. So, definitely you can calculate the LA means the thickness of the fire brick. Okay. And the thickness of the insulation, the thickness of the insulation, the thickness of the insulation will be 320 mm minus LA. So, you will get LB. Okay. So, here it is LB. Now, heat loss per unit area, you can take any, uh, either you can go for the fire brick or you can go for the uh, insulation part and just apply Fourier's law. And here is the Fourier's law that is delta T and it is in the format in Q is delta T by R T H. Okay. And we know that R T H for conduction is L by K A. So, here it is L by K A. Okay. So, this is the thing. Now, let us talk about the next numerical. A wall of furnace is made up of inside layer of silica brick 120 mm thick covered with a layer of magnesite brick 240 mm thick. The temperature of the inside surface of the silica brick wall and outside surface of a magnesite brick wall are 725 degrees Celsius and 110 degrees Celsius respectively. The contact thermal resistance between the two walls at the interface is 0.0035 degrees Celsius per watts per unit wall area. If the thermal conductivities of silica and magnesite bricks are 1.7 watts per meter degree Celsius and 5.8 watts per meter degree Celsius calculate. Okay. So, the rate of heat loss, uh, calculate the rate of heat loss per unit area of the walls and temperature drop at the interface. So, everything is given here. This is another, you know, composite wall. So, Ka is given, La, Lb means the thickness is given here. Okay. The contact thermal resistance, the contact thermal resistance, we will uh, we'll talk about it. Okay, it's the same thing as the thermal resistance is given. Okay, the temperature at the inside surface, the temperature at the outside surface. Okay, now what they are showing the rate of heat loss per unit area of wall Q. See the contact thermal resistance is given here. Okay, so see this is Q, so it is delta T by summation of RTH. So it will be RTHA plus RTH here. See it is RTHA here. Okay. It will be then R thermal of the contact and it will be RTH of B and R thermal of the contact is actually given here in the numerical. So, just solve it, just solve it and calculate the Q. Everything is given, just solve it and get the Q. The temperature drop at the interface, the temperature drop at the interface. So, it is, I have already told you, it is steady. So, the heat that is coming here will go out with the same magnitude. So, here see. It is T1 minus T2 by LB, uh, LA by KA, uh, L, uh, uh, LA by KA, and here it is T3 minus T4, LB by KB. So everything is there. 
So just at the, this is the contact temperature at the interface, just calculate with the simple mathematics, you can calculate the contact temperature, okay. So uh, this was again a kind of numerical uh, for this thing, okay. Now we are into three, three layers of the composite wall, an exterior wall, an exterior wall of a house may be approximately by a 0 0.1 meter layer of common brick that is K is equal to 0 0.7 watts per meter degree Celsius followed by a 0 0.04 layer of gypsum plaster, K is this. What thickness of loosely packed rock wool insulation, rock wool insulation, okay, this K ki value is already given, should be added to reduce the heat loss or gain through the wall by 80%, okay. Now what we need to do is, as you can see, it is common brick, gypsum plaster, rock wool, so here it is given, so this is, means the thickness of the rock wool that you need to find out, okay, what is the thickness of loosely packed rock wool insulation, should be added to reduce the heat loss or gain through the wall by 80%, okay. So what we need to do is, we need to actually take care of, see, thickness is already given, thickness of common brick given, thickness of gypsum plaster given, but thickness of rock wool is unknown, that we need to find out, thermal conductivities of everything is given, of all the three elements are given, okay, rock wool insulation not used, case one, rock wool insulation not used means it is only about these two, okay, and just now we have uh, solved so many numericals with the two elements, so just solve it, just solve it, okay, and you can get it, okay, just solve it and you can just, uh, this is the one of the insulation, okay, so delta T is not given here. Now, when we use the rock wool insulation, rock wool insulation will have the third element added, okay, will have the third element added, but now what we are talking about the Q2 means the, uh, the, uh, the result will be 80% lesser than the one when the rock wool is not used. So this is the main equation, just put it in this equation, you have Q2, you have a Q1 from the beginning, sorry, uh, you have Q1 in the beginning. So just put it here, Q1 you know, Q2 you know, so just put it and get the rock wool insulation when you need to reduce for 50%.